Hello, I'm Wei Long from Imperial College, and today I would like to talk about my research work on thermal electrochemical mechanical modeling of lithium-ion batteries. The majority content of this talk is from the paper below, which is open access. So for full details, please have a read of it. For introduction. I would like to start from the figure with an overview of battery degradation mechanisms. I have highlighted those associated with mechanical effects, including copper cracking, particle cracking in both the electrodes, binder decomposition, and contact loss. From this figure, we can see that mechanical effects are of great importance for improving the lifespan of lithium-ion batteries. For battery modeling, we are currently using physics-based models like Pasadena 2D or single particle method. The battery model was built across the thickness of the battery cell, including electrodes and the separator, and it used a number of electrode particles across cathode and anode. For battery and cycling. The electrode particles will experience volume change, and the resulting stress cause particle cracking. So in the model, we assume microsurface cracks, and when those cracks propagate, they release new surface area for SEF formation and growth, and accelerate battery capacity degradation. From particle level aspects. The geometry of the electrode particle is quite arbitrary and different from the assumption of an ideal sphere. So it's worth considering the effect of microstructure on the cracking behavior. We built the mechanical model at particle level based on the equilibrium of stress. It assumed that. The increase of lithium concentration can cause mechanical strain. So from those equations, we can get a elliptical solution of stress and displacement. From the solution, we know that the magnitude of stress is a function of the particle radius and the lithium concentration, while the displacement is a function of particle radius and average concentration. The solution also shows there are two different stress states within one electrode particle. For lithium, the outer layer is under compression, while the center is under tension. For delithium, it's the reverse of lithium. In literature, it also shows ways to avoid particle cracking. By either decrease the particle size or decrease the discharge currents. For silicon particles, from experiments, there is also a critical particle size, below which there would be no fracture. For battery model, we use the traditional Newman model, and we made some modifications by introducing the mechanical strain energy into the chemical potential energy. And then modifies the conservation of species flux. The thermal model is based on the heat balance, where the cell temperature is determined by the reaction heat and the refractive heat minus the convection and the radiation heat. Electrode materials all show thermal dependence, while the Arrhenius law is used to describe this thermal dependence. And the thickness of the pouch cell is modeled by contributions from thermal expansion and deformation by intercalation. We have tested our model with experiments of the Anatech pouch cell. The parameters of this cell are listed in the table, and on the right-hand side are the open circuit voltage, entropy, and volume change of both the electrode materials. We have validated our battery model with experiments in terms of voltage, temperature, and thickness at different series of discharge, where good agreement has been obtained. And in thickness change, the model can predict the plateau, 
which is characteristic for battery cells using graphite anodes. The deformation by intercalation is 10 times larger than by thermal expansion. We have studied the mechanical effects on the output capacity. The results show that for high currents, the output capacity can increase by up to 5%, while for low currents, there is very little difference. We've calculated the cycling response of voltage stress in both electrodes. And on the right hand side are the stress distributions across both electrodes at the specific time steps marked on the left hand side. We can see that the stress distribution is quite long uniform and there are large stress close to the separator during charge and discharge. And when the current is changing the direction, there is also large stress at the current collect side. At the bottom is the animation for concentration and the stress at the different time steps. We have calculated the stress and the different series. The results show that the magnitude of stress increase with series and there are very large stress close to the separator for high series. These results explain the experimental observations of local particle fragmentation close to the separator on the right hand side. In the next few slides, I would like to introduce the research in progress in our group. We are studying the microstructure of electrode particle and the effects on the cracking behavior. We built a 3D model in console using the actual symmetry. At the bottom, we get the results of lithium concentration, displacement, and the correct propagating by phase field. This is an any stage result, and in future, we will consider more complex geometry. Another work is at the pack level. We built a model considering six cells in parallel and built the model in Simulink. For individual cell, it's described by battery model developed above and implemented in PyBAM. The combination of PyBAM and Simulink provides a very powerful tool to study the battery performance at the pack level. In summary, our research is across multiple scales of pack, cell, and pack levels. At particle level, we have studied different particle size, microstructure, and the cracking behavior in one particle. At cell level, we are more interested with capacity degradation, thickness change, and stress distribution across electrodes. At pack level, we are more focused on the uneven currents, temperature gradients, and non-uniform degradation across individual battery cells. We hope our research work can help industry to analyze the battery performance across different main scales. For any questions, please drop me an email to the address below. Thank you for your attention.